Huskies! Welcome to our first episode of WHTV. I'm Sarah Hamilton, one of the editors on your school newspaper, The Hatchet, and I'm here to talk to you about what's new at Washington. This school year has been off to a great start. Let's check in with Mr. Moran to see how he feels about the upcoming school year. Hey Huskies! Now I'm here with Mr. Moran, our school principal. So, the first question for you is, how has the school year been for you so far? It's been really good. I've, uh, it seems very positive uh, this year. It's been a nice start. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, my interactions with the students this year. Uh, we have a very large freshman class uh, that we were surprised by, which is always good news. And I think it's been a really nice start. Um, I'm really happy with how the school year is going. That's great. And what are you looking forward to this year? Uh, well, this, I'm looking forward to uh, all the class schedule requests getting all completed and everyone being in their class. And then uh, I'm really looking forward to Spirit Week in October, uh, the football season, uh, seeing how our fall sports do, the water polo and volleyball and tennis and golf, and uh, just seeing uh, kids grow and uh accomplish things academically in their classes. Um, it's always fun. Everyone, it's a, a little bit of a ramp up when you come from summer, right? Getting your brain going and then after four or five weeks you really see people hitting the ground and uh, really making uh, strides with their uh, with their academics. So that's what I'm looking forward to. That's really good. And our last question for you is, are there any problems at the school that you want to tackle this school year? Um, I think that we just need to, as a school, um, be kind to one another. I think that's the, the major thing. I think we get tired and um, I think sometimes we're not as empathetic and nice to each other as we could possibly be. I think that social media sometimes uh, makes it easy to um, comment on other people and say things that you wouldn't necessarily say if you're there in person with them and that's kind of what I like to see it's just I, I think that as a school we do a nice job uh, getting along um, but we could improve a little bit in that area so I, I would like to see that and I'd also like to see um, just people and I know we live in a difficult age with our phones and I have my own issues with my phone and I like to you know get on social media with it and stuff but Really, uh, there's all of real life going on around us and just to kind of uh, really to take advantage of uh, the opportunities besides classes with extracurricular activities, uh, to be in clubs, to, be, um, to go to dances, uh, to be in uh, sports, um, or just to engage with your friends at lunch or after school and just kind of uh, engaging in life uh, beyond social media and our phones. So that's just kind of two of the things I'd like to see us work on this year. Yeah, I'd like to agree with that. Okay. Thank you so much for right. your time, okay. and I hope you have a good day. Okay, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Aria. This week at Washington is full of tons of exciting events, the biggest one being Club Rush. Club Rush will be held from Tuesday the 17th to Thursday the 19th at the Grass Behind Amphitheater. Make sure to stop by and check out some of the amazing clubs Washington has to offer. Let's see how some of our fellow Huskies feel about Club Rush. Over to you, Aria. Hello, Huskies. Today I'm here with the club advisor, Mr. Soltap. So my first question for you is, how's the preparation for Club Rush been going this year? Uh, it's hectic, um, you know, with so many people, with so many wonderful ideas for clubs. Um, trying to organize that and get them all on the same page takes some work. So yeah. yeah. And how do you feel about all the clubs this year? I love them. I, I love clubs because clubs give you guys a chance to do things outside of your classes and the classes that you um, you take, and then you get to show what you're passionate about. Um, so any and all clubs, I love them. Yeah. Me too. So um, I've heard that there have been like new protocols about um, clubs. So do you have anything to add on to that? So some of the main things is that we just want clubs to be active. So more than just like one meeting a month and all that kind of stuff. So we try to have them have events outside of school hours. Um, again, focused on what they're doing um, or what their purpose is. And then, um, but that way they become more active. So really it's about the, the being active members of, of clubs. 
um, that we that we really want. Um, that's the biggest word. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. All right. See you. Hey Huskies, right now I'm here with Winnie, who's the ASD president of Washington High School. And first of all, congratulations for your role. Thank you so much. And let's just get on to it. How has being ASD president been? Um, so far, it's definitely, it's been like a lot just because like school started like May, so that was a lot to deal with. But I think it's been good so far. That's great. And what are some perks of being ASD pres? Um, I'd say compared to being AC Press, it's Um, I think mainly it's just like I get to interact with a lot more people and it's really nice getting to like meet other people, like in general, yeah. Alright. And what are some ideas that you want to like implement this year? <clears throat> um, so we were thinking we're coming up uh, with like our theme so, so that's gonna come out too. Make sure to buy your tickets in the Sims Center next week. And um, just in general, more events, um, more engaging for students. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. Aside from Club Rush, we also have many upcoming sports games. The girls' tennis team has their first match against Moreau on the 17th and Newark Memorial on the 19th. The boys and girls' water polo teams are both playing Irvington on Wednesday the 18th. And last but not least, our football team is playing American during Battle of the Boulevards on Friday the 20th. Hello. Let's check in with Mr. Sotelo about the upcoming football season. Hey Huskies, today we're here with Mr. Sotelo, who is the athletic director and the football coach. So my first question for you is, how do you feel about the football season this year? Um, so I think we have a really good uh, uh, football team and uh, we're playing some tough teams this year, but uh, but I feel really good about the season and, uh, and, um, and I think we'll have a good outcome. That's great. Mm -hmm. And what are you looking forward to this year? Um, I think just the, the, the growth of, uh, of the players because we have a really young team and um, and uh, just watching uh, Ishan uh, and continuing uh, to see him grow as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And what is one piece of advice that you tell your football players but you would like to give to other students at Washington? Um, so uh, I stress uh, academics first. And so that would be uh, my, my, my advice to the guys or what I talk to the guys about all the time is is uh, you know you're you're athletes, but the academics comes first. If if you don't do that, then you can't play sports. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Let's make sure to cheer on our Huskies during their games this week. That's all for our first episode of WHTV. For more from the Hatchet, check out our podcast, Bearing the Hatchet, on Spotify, and follow our Instagram at WHS Hatchet. Keep an eye out for our first print issue at the end of the month as well. This is Sarah signing off, and have a great day, Huskies.